Got a target on your back? Hey, I mean, figuratively. Hey, don't do that, man. You're freaking right. So, do you? What? Ever feel overwhelmed by some menacing problem, like you're being chased? You kidding, man? They're always watching. They're always one step behind. Who are they? They. They. They, man. They. They spell it out for you, man. They. You mean, like, the armies of Egypt? Yeah, man. That's exactly what I mean. Pharaoh's army with all those thousands of chariots and horses and the crazy black mascara and the hands like this all the time. Always behind. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, Egypt was chasing them. Egypt, the whole thing, Egypt just chasing them. And they were terrified, and the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. Ah! Isn't that wonderful? What? Pharaoh, what? Isn't it wonderful what Pharaoh did for them? Pharaoh did what? He's chasing them. He's trying to drown them in the sea. Pharaoh terrified them. Exactly. And the terror made them cry out to God. But and God saved them. But yeah, because they cried out to him. Yeah. Israel, and they cried out to God in a burst of fresh spiritual energy. Well, yeah. And this burst of energy was sparked by Pharaoh. <laughs> Pharaoh was, was an incitement. Actually, that's exactly right. That's exactly what it says in the Medrash, that Pharaoh incited them to cry out to God. Well, yeah, but Pharaoh was working for God. Right again. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The whole thing's a conspiracy. Pharaoh and God. Pharaoh and God. Well, now, Mr. Noyak. What did you say? That's your name, uh, Perry. <laughs> listen, pa listen, there's no conspiracy here. You yourself said it. Pharaoh's working for God. Actually, you're the one who said it. But it was well said, in a sense. Pharaoh and his armies, like any set of troubles that pursues you, Pharaoh represents a deeply hidden force of godliness, a divine power that is too sublime to be expressed in an openly positive way. This is the divine power that provokes you, you or anyone. The power is what provokes you to turn inward into that deep place in your soul from which you call out to God. Deep calleth. Nice. Hashem is close to all who call upon Him. To all who call upon Him in truth. And when that's done in truth, when you turn to God with a broken heart, with humility and fidelity, and access those strengths that God gave you to face your private Pharaoh, well then, your private little Pharaoh just disappears. Poof. He's done his job. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so it's, it's me? Who's in conspiracy with God against Pharaoh? Against the incitement placed there by God. The incitement is just God in disguise. God in disguise to incite you to deepen your connection with God. Wow. Yeah.